Hey, good morning everybody and welcome to the vlog. I hope the start of your day is incredible. I know mine sure is gonna be. I get to feed Ivy today. That's right, I have no idea how she's gonna eat in this water. I've watched a couple YouTube videos, ironically enough, like with the Dallas World Aquarium, how they feed their anacondas in the water, because she's been hanging out here. Uh, the question is, I don't know, like once she grabs the rabbit, if she grabs the rabbit, do I pull her up on land or do I leave her in the water? I'm not sure what's gonna happen, guys, but let's just go inside and feed Ivy. How amazing. We're also gonna feed her a couple other animals here at the Reptarium expansion as well as a bunch of stuff next door. It's gonna be an awesome day. Let's just go ahead and jump right in. I'm in the cage now. Ivy is right over here. You can see her over here and uh, I don't know what's gonna happen. My heart rate is kind of up. I'll be honest with you. This is super exciting to me just to see uh, something I just didn't know what's going on. I think I'm gonna, I don't know if I should drag her up. I don't know if she'll eat under the water. So I think I'm gonna try to hand it to her first and see what happens. Come on girl. You wanna eat? You wanna eat, baby? You wanna eat? I don't know what to do. I've never done this before. Oh, there she is. She's sparking now. There she goes. Oh, she got it. She got it. She's pulling under the water. She's pulling under the water. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that. She's coiled under the water here. I think I'm gonna go ahead and pull her up on land. Oh, my gosh. She's got that thing coiled like you can't believe. I'm gonna pull her up on land just so she can eat. Because I, I don't know if she can eat underwater or not. Oh, get her up on land like this. I tell you what, that was an adrenaline rush. I didn't know what was gonna happen. That was so freaking awesome. Did you see her just lunge out of the water like that? Oh my gosh, that's gotta be the way they eat in the wild. I wonder if she would drag it. I mean, she was gonna drag it underwater. Would she have eaten it underwater? I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. In the meantime, I'm just gonna sit here and enjoy this moment. That was freaking epic. I can't believe how absolutely incredible that was to feed Ivy. Now I'm just gonna feed Perdita. Come on, my big girl. There you go, sweetheart. She is gorgeous, too. So obviously I've gotta feed the animals over here, and later on today, I actually have to build the stand for the fish spas. Remember, we went over to Steve Bashy's place, saw the fish spas getting done. He came by yesterday and actually told me what he wanted, so I've gotta build a stand so that he can come in here in the next few days and actually start to install the fish spas and make them look amazing. So I'm excited about that. So we'll do that a little bit later, but we've got a lot of snakes to feed in the meantime. Pretty cool, again, every single time we get to feed an animal for the first time. It's a little freaky when you have to come inside. Now, I have no idea if Al's gonna be ready to eat or not, to be totally honest with you. Because again, sometimes it takes a little bit of time for them to adjust where their new environment is. So I'm just gonna give it a shot and see if he's interested. Al, you want food, bud? He also is starting to look a little dull, like he's starting to go into shed. So I have a feeling that Al is not interested in eating today, but he's yet to flick his tongue out, so Let's see, come on, buddy. All right, so that's a no-go for Al. Again, I didn't expect every animal to eat while it's over here. So uh, we're just gonna give him another week or two and I'm sure he'll go on to food. So let's move on to the next. Keep popping over to BHB because after all, I love all my animals here too. And guess what we got? Oh my gosh, we got a couple little crested gecko babies. They are adorable too. Oh my gosh, the color on these guys are ridiculous. So two more little baby crested geckos. That is awesome. Definitely can't wait to start hatching some of that really red line gargoyle stuff. But we're actually having a pretty good crested gecko year considering we didn't even gear up to try to produce them. Can definitely tell that loves to nip is ready to go it's uh it wants to eat for sure come on baby come on silly there you go <laughs> such a cool steak there you go Monster. there you go buddy and i've mentioned before that these guys can sometimes be found in kind of the entrance of a bat cave where bats are flying out and they're just chucking them right off well guess what i might be going to one of those places in mexico now these guys are from haiti but uh the mexican version is like that too boas at the edge of a cave entrance might be going if i do i'll definitely film that one casper is always an adventure to feed he's a super tame animal but when it comes to feeding whoa here he comes Whoa, come on, guy. Come on, you're okay, you're all right. Here we go, ah, oh, whoo. Tell you what, he just, he just goes nuts. I mean, he just like strikes with his mouth open, just like waving around. So you always gotta be careful with him. He's a great snake, but holy cow, you gotta be careful. Hognos are so cute. And of course, Peppa here is just amazing. Here we go. 
just, oh, there it is. <laughs> and they are so absolutely adorable. <laughs> it's a good snake, man. I can't wait till this sucker gets 15 foot. It's gonna be ridiculous. The thing that's amazing about Tazzy is just how gentle he is. He's not like Elvis or these other things where you gotta really go after it. So a lot of times you can just get him to kind of see he's already excited. There you go, bud. And you can just feed him. He's just so gentle compared to most animals. So I'm just feeding him some really small meals right now. There you go, bud. There you go, sweetheart. I mean, that's the thing that's so cool about this guy is he is just so chill and so gentle. You can use shorter tongs. Just have him sitting on your lap. There you go, buddy. Want some more? There you go. That's a boy. Good boy. <laughs> I mean, how absolutely adorable is that, huh? I mean, I tell you what, this is a, is a cool, cool animal. Tegus are pretty amazing. Here you go, buddy. Want more? There you go. There you go. There you go, Tazzy. And again, you couldn't do this with a monitor, really, because they're just, it's not that they're mean animals or anything like that. It's just that, you know, they, they have a much more ferocious feeding habit to them, right? Whereas Taz is just so gentle. You can see he just barely takes it. <laughs> so you don't have to use those long tongs to keep your hands away. I certainly couldn't even have Elvis up on this. Not because Elvis would want to bite me, but you know, if I'm over here, he could potentially you know, just reach over and grab me on accident, really. So Taz is pretty special in the sense that I can actually do this. There you go, bud. There you go, sweetheart. Whoop, dropped it. And that's about it for Tazzy. He's a pretty dainty eater, so what an absolutely beautiful animal. And again, what I always do with Tazzy, you guys know this, is I just let him go home on his own whenever he wants to. Go ahead, bud. You want to go home, baby? You can go home and go back to sleep? Such a lazy little sloth-like reptile, you know? <laughs> See you later, buddy. Thank you for spending time with me. You know, it's always awesome to feed snakes, but it's even cooler when you can feed them for the first time in a new environment and kind of learn what they're doing. Like Ivy, I didn't know what was gonna happen. That's super cool over there. Now I've gotta decide if I ever wanna let her eat in the water or when she's done, is she gonna go back in the water? I don't know what she's gonna do. And again, Al will turn on here pretty soon, you know, just getting all the new animals over the next week or so in and then feeding them. Wow, I mean, it's cool, right? It's a cool new experience. No matter how many times I've fed reptiles, feeding them in a new environment is gonna be completely different because they're gonna act completely different, which is just really exciting. Pretty deep, great over there. So let's go ahead and try Moo Moo on this side. Again, being the first time feeding, I just don't know exactly what to expect, to be honest with you. You see she's kind of tucking her head, but maybe if she smells it, she'll come up and eat it. I'm not 100% sure. Here she comes, there she is. Now she can start smelling it, see if she wants to actually eat. You wanna eat, girl? Come on. There she goes. Oh, that's such a great thing. I love it. That means she's settling in quicker than Al, obviously. So that's really good. Get her good meals in here. Get her growing. She is going to be good. After she gets handled a bunch by a bunch of people, she's going to be just as big of a sweetheart as Perdita. Just heading down here at BHB, uh, the dungeon. Mary, what's going on? Things are, looks like there's a bunch of lockups, there's huh? There's so much lock. Some babies are starting to, some young males are starting to breed. There's nice. so much lock. It's crazy how you'll have like a young male that's like a year and a half old that has got plenty of size and he just won't breed and then like you said middle end of february he decides he's going to breed and once they start they'll breed for a long time unfortunately females are already kind of developing follicles so sometimes you got to stress out about it but so uh good to hear uh i see a lot of colorful things happening here yes. <laughs> I, I don't i don't really know what the system is and i'm going to let you just run with it but there's green there's yellow there's blue there's red there's yellow there's orange uh, I'm, uh, it's, it's, yeah, I mean, it's definitely a colorful place down here, but keep up the good work, Mary. <laughs> this girl is actually the Lori Leopard Ball Python that produced the Super Lori Leopard last year, and she's bred to the same exact male. She's up to 24 millimeter follicles. Usually once they get over 20, 22, it's like a 90% lock, especially if you've seen breeding and stuff like that. So I have a feeling we're gonna get another clutch. Now will we get lucky and produce another Super Lori Leopard? Uh, we'll have to wait and see. 
Guys, take a look at that. Oh my gosh, Ivy ate. I mean, it's so exciting, isn't it? I mean, just the fact that she ate like that. I, I, you know, it's hard to say that snakes are happy. I'd say they're mentally enriched and mentally stimulated. She seems to be so mentally stimulated in this cage because she's got all this environment here. She's got the water that she's loving to death. Obviously, she's happy, she's eating. Uh, I, this is, I tell you what, there is nothing that is making me more happy right now than the way Ivy is enjoying her habitat. The three turtles I put in the other day are settling in pretty good, but what I've noticed is that it's gonna take them a while to feel comfortable because they're hiding all the time. So I decided to go ahead and put the other five turtles that I had, and then I'll hang a mercury vapor bulb here later on. So I'm just gonna let these guys go and swim around. And I don't know, maybe with eight turtles in here, maybe they'll all cruise around a little bit more. Look at this big old mama right here. Whoo, tell you what, here we go. See, be free. <laughs> I think they're gonna love it. I can't wait till they get socialized enough in here where they'll come up and come out for food and be all over this. It's gonna be really, really cool. So, uh, all right, we'll see. Uh, looks like I've got eight of them in here and uh, I don't see, oh, there's one. Oh, it just went right back down. Yeah, so uh, it'll probably take them a few days to get socialized, but I wanna go ahead and have these guys looking good so that the open, of course, March 13th weekend, Friday, March 13th, we're gonna have a bash. Remember, we're giving away two tickets to the VIP party Friday and two tickets Saturday. You gotta follow the Reptarium on Instagram for more details. So you may get lucky and win a couple free tickets to come hang out with us on the VIP party. So obviously the more animals you get, the more challenging it's gonna to be to feed everything now that we have this side, some animals on that side. And like I said, here in another week and a half, that side's gonna be full up, so there's gonna be a lot of stuff to feed over here. But I've gotta feed this girl here, of course, Sunrise. There it is, perfect hit right there. She got it perfect. <laughs> I tell you, what, again, I love feeding stuff, and now that we got new stuff over there, oh my God, this is, the feeding day is even more epic. Let me know in the comments if you guys are enjoying it for sure, because I sure am. Pickles is pretty amazing, and she is fired up right now. You ready, girl? Here you go. Here you go, right up here. Here you go. There it is, right there. There it is, good job, girl. Whew. Tell you what, that is one incredibly beautiful girl. I can't wait to show you the arboreal cage next door and what's gonna go in it in about a week. Ridiculous. Come on, Jeffrey. Cheer up. God, he looks so pretty today. Wow, look at this animal. There it is, Oof. There you go, buddy. Like I mentioned earlier, off to Home Depot to start building this stand for the spa here. So, uh, get, you know, it seems like I live at Home Depot nowadays with the expansion. So, let's head out there, grab some wood, get back here, and build the stand for my buddy Steve. Essentially what's gonna happen, guys, is this will be the stand that the actual spas are on. They'll be out to about, right about here, roughly in that thing. There'll be one spa here, one spa here. You'll be able to step up in the middle to get into the spa, and then this will be the sump area back here, which is the actual pump. And then, of course, the seat will be here. So you'll be sitting here, feeding the thing like that. So, uh, so that's the stand for it. So. I'm gonna have Steve in the next couple days is gonna be out here, gonna be installing these guys, getting all the plumbing for the sump in and stuff like that. And then we'll get a good idea of what this thing is gonna look like. Well, I guess that answers my question whether or not she's gonna stay on the land or she's gonna go in the water after she feeds. But what an amazing opportunity to see her eat for the first time. She loves it, she's great. Everything went really well here with the new place. Again, lots of new animals gonna be here within the next week. Thank you guys for joining me today. I hope that you enjoyed the video. Your support is amazing and I love you guys. I have a podcast called Checking and you can subscribe to it right over here. It's Wednesdays and Fridays. I think you're gonna enjoy that. You can run through a vlog playlist right here if you so choose. On this side, you can subscribe to the vlog channel. Please turn those post notifications on. Have an absolutely wonderful day. Remember to be kind to someone, and I promise I'll see you guys tomorrow.